just going to take a quick look at the Polari box. There's really nothing to it, but I'll give you a quick tour of the actual Polari itself. So, there's the box. Polari. And the only other thing inside is the manual. And it'll show you how to uh, align in both hemispheres and all that stuff. So as for the actual Polari, that's what it looks like in the front. You can get an idea how big it is, I'll put a pen beside it. So it's pretty small. That hole there, you actually look through it this way, and that is how you would align it. You would look through there and center the uh, Polaris in the northern hemisphere, and then it would you'd be uh, aligned and ready to go. So on your back, that's your compass that screws out. We'll show that in a second. On the top, there's your switch for your different modes. So there's off. Um, setup mode, which just eliminates the, uh, the latitude meter thing here, which will help you do your do your alignment, especially for uh, solar alignment where you don't have a star to use. And there's half speed tracking for starscapes, and full speed tracking, and then solar and lunar tracking. So there's the latitude uh, level, so you can see. So this is where you attach the camera. You have to unscrew these. This is the thing that actually spins. So if you look back here, there's a thing that pushes in. When you push that in, the screw pops out, and that is where you'd screw in your ball head mount for your camera. And on the back, this screws off. And that is your compass. And if you bought the optional polar scope, it would go through there. But if you don't have the polar scope, like I mentioned earlier, you would just look through this little hole here. It's not as accurate, but for wide field or, you know, anything up to like. 150 or so, two, or even 200 millimeters, you can get pretty accurate alignment just looking through this. But if you want to do extreme telephoto, you should get the polar scope.